welcome to Team Beam. Just to warn you, this is a bit of a gruesome one. On Sunday evening, we went to bring the horses in and we noticed that Pip, the Exmoor, had a rather a large cut on his leg. We brought him in and washed it and soon realised that we needed to get the vet out because we weren't sure uh, whether he had a punch wound on his hock. Um, and he had a very straight cut going down his cannon bone, as you can see in the photographs. Um, the vet did come out. She dressed it with mahuka honey um, and a bandage. And she also prescribed him antibiotics for a week, along with bute. He also has to have ACPs to keep him calm because coming off the moors, he's not very good in his stable. Um, never has been. I don't think he ever will be. So they are keeping him calm through the day. We have to change the bandage every day for the first week and then every other day for the second week. Um, on box rest for two weeks, then it has to go out into a small paddock to see how he gets on and he can't be ridden for at least eight weeks. Um, I've attached some still photographs of the injury and a video so you can see us um, dressing the wound and what products we're using. If you do like our videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah. So as you can see, we're cutting off last yeah, night. Bandage sturdy. Good boy. Um, but obviously you want to be careful that you're not catching his skin. Um, you can't beat that. that. If only it had been around when I was in. Yeah. As you see, we're giving him his tea to keep him occupied while we're doing it, but he's been a very good boy. So, that's the back wrap, and then we've got, this is cast dressing, so this is the stuff that we put underneath um, your cast, uh, before you have a plaster of Paris put on your arm, if you break your arm or your leg, so it stops it sticking and it just supports it. And then, as you can see, we've got a sanitary towel uh, that's on the wound and it's had manuka honey on if you look at it that's the kind of gunk that's coming out this is the fresh one <coughs> if you look the it's not looking as angry it's not as angry it's still very very swollen at the side and very warm to touch i think we need to pick in some cleavers Philip. yeah we'll go and pick some more cleavers so mary if you want to show the clean sanitary product right so this is a clean sanitary towel covered in man manuka honey good boy it's going on now darling and we just want to stick it straight. Have you got the there. white bandage? Yeah, I've got the next bandage in my pocket. And we're just going to go right. Um, oh shit, don't do that, but I have. Obviously, we're just supporting the whole of the leg, bandaging it. We need the honey coming out at the side there, but never mind. The Romans used to use honey as um, as a way to heal wounds, and they also, at one point in history, used to use cobwebs because they stick Ooh. as a plaster. I don't think I'd quite like to use a cobweb, but... You might have enough in here. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely enough in our, <laughs> in our stables, but I don't think I'd like to actually use a, a cobweb, but they did used to use cobwebs, because they stick like a bondage. Big spiders to make webs that big. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Yeah. Webs. And then obviously, if you're using it, you know how to use that, that it just sticks to itself. And... Important to start off by making sure you cover all the bandage so that you're supporting the leg. Even though the cuts at the side, you want to support the leg while it's going on. He's going to be out of action for at least two months with this wound. 
which is great news. So the whole season will have done. We might get the last two shows in September if we're lucky. Um, Life, life, and the nature of having a horse, I suppose. The nature of the beast, when you have a horse, anything can happen. See the first when the dot vet um, did it the first day, which was on Saturday, Sunday evening. She then put a sticky plaster that she bandaged right up to here to support the hock, and then stuck it on with sticky plaster. Um, but obviously, we don't need to do that, and this last bit isn't going to stick on. I don't know why. <coughs> there we go. Uh, and I don't have to do up to there now because. Um, the wound, as you could see, was just down there. 